Hi, sir. Welcome to Piggly Wiggly, where the cold cuts are lukewarm, the fried chicken is greasy and abundant, and the mashed potatoes are somehow real. How can I help you? Sir, I'm from the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Are you a uh, Derek Helmsley? Were you fired from a NASCAR ticket sales office in Florida recently? Uh, yes, matter of fact, I am. Why, why do you ask? <laughs> well, Mr. Derek, it seems that we have you guilty on several, several counts of money laundering. Money laundering. Well, Mr. Phelps, sir, you, you know me, I don't like to curse, but Garden Seed, what was the boy thinking? <laughs> Money laundering. Well, would he be charged in, in Alabama or here? He'd be charged in Florida. We don't know how long. Okay, well, uh, I don't know if there's anything we can do to help him. Not like this is something we can just go to the county jail, bail them out for. I don't have that much money anyway. Um, and do we really want to support a hardened criminal? I mean, he stole thousands of dollars from the company. So that, that's just what I think. I mean, I'm sure that's what you think as well, sir. Yes, okay. Huh. Well. All right. Bye, sir. So Derek, you know, the, the, the guy that used to work here, he uh, got arrested for money laundering. They bopped him at the Piggly Wiggly he was working at in Alabama by an undercover FBI agent. So uh, this is serious. Um, this ain't just stealing, you know, $10,000 worth of, of ticket money from a NASCAR office, which Sounds pretty egregious in its own right, but uh, this is worse. Way worse. We're talking hard time behind bars. So, this is like some true crime stuff. That reminds me of... Have I paid my A&E subscription or Discovery Channel or any... I have not paid my cable bill. I need to do that or I am gonna lose ancient aliens. Okay, well I will be right back. I have to get on my computer. So Derek's spirits are probably kinda crushed because you know he has to go to prison for a long time. So me and Joe thought we would send him a couple things to uh Hey, brighten him up a little bit. So, we know that he likes Nat Geo. So, we got him uh, this one from uh, March. It's now it's now May. Um, he had a subscription sent to the office, and then it just stopped coming. So, I guess he couldn't pay for it with the Piggly Wiggly money. Um, this is just real enlightening, though. Um, yeah. And... And we got him a nutshell library with some illustrations that will haunt his dreams. Um, I'm sure it looks like we got uh, alligators all around. Uh, that just sounds like uh, Florida, basically. It just sounds like our home state. Uh, we got chicken soup with rice, um, which actually sounds kind of kind of good. Um, we got Pierre. Um, uh, which sounds like the only French guy that I know. And we got uh, one was Johnny. Um, so.
So I don't know what happened to this Johnny guy to uh, get his get get him put into past tense. Um, but uh, I hope he died peacefully. So yeah, that, that's that's uh, the support we're sending him. It was Joe's idea, not mine. So if he hates it, he can just blame Joe. I guess. It has been a very interesting day. Derek apparently is going to prison for uh, money laundering. Um, and we also can't get the right size box for our box of stuff we're sending him, which not only includes the little nut shed or whatever it was called, library, um, and the Nat Geo. It also includes a copy of the Pokey Little Puppy. So, yeah. And I, I should sing you a song about it, you know, like Derek would want to. He left his guitars here. So, I don't really know how to play guitar either. I just made fun of him for not knowing how. Let's see. Look at the facts. You're in prison. Nah, that's overly harsh. Um, <sighs> what have you become? My money laundering friend. Nah, that's still too harsh. I want to make fun of him, but I don't want to poke too much fun at him where it, where it seems like I am a really messing them up psychologically. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of wish I could bail him out. But he made his choices and we made ours, so. What's that, Lee? Oh, there's a funny, funny pup meme, guys. I gotta go. I'm kind of surprised they let you guys in here, but I guess y'all pass security screening. So, uh, yeah, so far, uh, jail ain't too bad. Um, prison will probably be a little worse. But, uh, I got a bed, so that's almost already improved over my apartment. What? I can I can do do my call. Okay. Yeah. For whatever reason, they don't have a normal phone, so they just give us our cell phones, but lock it in a box. I, I don't know. Alabama prison's weird. All right. Who do I call? Contacts. Oh, sure as heck, ain't gonna be Lee and Joe. Nah, I ain't calling Fred. Francisco. Hmm. Yeah, Francisco. Hey, buddy. Where'd you see it? Oh, it's on ABC News. Great, great. Now I got David Muir talking about it. Is it true? Well, there's there's cameras around, but I'm gonna talk quietly. They can't they can't hear me. The, the mics don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it's true, but I messed up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Guard. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Not a ton of hope left. Messed up, man. Messed up. There ain't no bailouts. It's yeah, but 25 years. But I was desperate. I was afraid. Didn't know if I was going to have a job or not. Phelps and Fred just scared the daylight out of me.
not an excuse for it, but still. Yeah, I know, man. Thankfully, they do serve Piggly Wiggly fried chicken here and mashed potatoes, so I'll just eat more of that. But that's only on Saturday nights. Yeah, I think I'll have a TV. I can still watch the races. Not the ones on cable, but watch all the ones on network TV. So there goes half the playoffs. <laughs> Francisco, thanks for being my one contact with the outside world that I get to have for who knows how long. Okay, bye. Guard, you lock this thing back in the wooden box. Guard, I know it's a bit early, but uh, have some dinner. <sighs> oh, but I'm dumb, dumb. What? Oh, I'm why well, I'm wearing shorts. You know, it got kind of hot in here, so I had them on underneath. <sighs> My exes live in Texas. Who's this calling me? Francisco. Hi, Francisco. Yes, I know. We all know. You were his one phone call. Not a lawyer or his mama. Just okay. okay. Yeah, of course he's a little bent up in his mind. I mean, the dude just got bopped for, what, 25 years? Minimum? Well, of course he admitted that he did wrong. He knows that now. When he's behind bars. Should have thought about that sooner, Derek. <sighs> yeah. Okay, dude, that's Daytona Beach all the way up to northern Alabama. I really don't want to. Yeah, I, I think I can get tickets for Talladega. I mean, I get 75% off tickets anyway. Okay, but Dig is next week, dude. Uh, that's a whole weekend of ticket sales I'm potentially missing out on. I have to clear it with Phelps and Well, if you really think it would help him that much for his old boss to go see him, that, that fired him. That, I'll do it. Okay. Bye. So, Francisco wants me to drive up from Daytona Beach all the way to Northern Alabama and go see Joe. Or, or Derek. Derek, right? Yep, oh, yeah, Joe. Yep. Sorry, I'm going to stick you for a convict for a second. Yeah, um, thing is, to go up there, I'd be missing a whole weekend, I guess I'd be a little more happy if I was at the track watching Talladega. I have to call Phillips, so though. I'll do it, whatever, I'll, I'll do it. Hey Siri, call Steve Phillips. Hey Steve. Yep, Fred, Daytona Beach. No, uh, ticket off to number two. Hey, um, you know Derek Helmsley, right? Yeah, yeah, the whole the whole country's caught on to it by now. Fantastic, great NASCAR PR. Ugh, anyway, um, so Francisco called me, you know, that other guy we fired. And uh, he thinks it'd be good for Joe, or, or Derek, sorry Joe, sorry bud, uh, for Derek Morrell if I went up there and visited him. For trial and everything, um, I, I I know I'd be missing a whole weekend. I get that, but I'm confident that Lee and Joe could come in on their weekend hours and 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 do it right, guys. Y'all y'all could do that. Yeah, they they agree. Yeah. Okay. 
you'd make the tickets free. So that includes salad bar, pit pass, garage pass. I'm still a fan. I'm a businessman. I'm still a NASCAR fan. Yeah? For Xfinity, Arca, and Cup. Makes it worth it to me. Alright. Thank you, Miss Phelps. So I don't know if I should feel bad about using Derek as a scapegoat to get free tickets or not. But I'm driving up there to see the race and to see him, so I might as well do the best I can to improve his morale. I don't know what I'm going to say, but I'm just, I'll am think it up while I'm on the road. Okay, mm got five days to pack. See if I can remember socks and a shirt and pants and deodorant and toothpaste. I've got to go write my packing list. <laughs>